First, let me say thank you and welcome you to uh, the City Hall Council Chambers. Uh, we have not done a lot of events over the last year for obvious reasons, and we've been very, very selective and very careful about when and how we ask people to come together, making sure that we're always in a safe environment. Um, it was a fitting and appropriate thing, though, to ask you to come together to honor our senior of the year. Um, we, we have a couple people that want to say some comments, and then um, I would like to obviously present a proclamation as well. This year is a little bit different because of COVID. We're not going to have the formal banquet that we normally would have, but it do doesn't diminish at all our appreciation and thanks for the work that you do. Um, so I'm going to invite up our uh, senior senator uh, representing Jersey City and doing a great job, uh, Senator Sandra Cunningham. Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to just start this, I'll be very brief, but my father was a Pentecostal minister, and whenever anything happened, he would say two words. And after the verdict last night, I want you to join me in saying those words. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, we want to take this opportunity to honor this fabulous woman. And surely, as I was coming down, I was reading, first of all, let me explain. Uh, explain. You will get a bigger proclamation. We just didn't have time to get it from Trenton. So um, we sent this instead. This is signed by me, so it's even better. So, um, you know, I was thinking on the way down that it takes a person with special gifts to be able to give and give and give, right? to give of themselves without expecting a lot of hoopla. But she does it on a regular basis every single day. And that's a gift from God, because that's a gift that he gave you as your mission here. So I was looking at your resolute, at your, the information that we received, and it looks like this is something you have been doing all of your professional life. All of your work life has been giving back to so many people. So we're so honored to have you giving back for our constituents. So let me just say, this is presented to Shirley Rogers Fields by the citizenry of the 31st New Jersey Legislative District through their elected representative, are genuinely indebted to the concerned and passionate citizens whose outstanding character attributes have major made major contributions to the state of New Jersey and their Jersey City community. Upon the dedication of this citizen, whose responsible faith, outstanding cheerfulness to aid shut-ins with faith, love, and hope has through her efforts brought them and enhanced their quality of life the lives of many of our senior citizens is honored to Jersey City Senior Citizen of 2021 and therefore recognized by the state of New Jersey, Hudson County, and of course, Jersey City. God bless you. Well, uh, Ms. Shirley, we do have a resolution for you, but on behalf of the council, what I would like to say, you know, March was Women's History Month, and we, our theme was um, recognizing those who went before us. And it was, um, I'm quite sure you probably saw when Oprah had her legend ball, how Oprah had her legend ball. And it was the youngins that was honoring those who had paved the way for them. And it was a quote, and there is a, is a little quote in there that says, we were born a free woman, born a free woman, who are free women, born a free woman. And I'm saying that to say this, is that because of your fight, because of the way that you paid for so many of us young men, we stand here in this position because of what you've done. We don't take it lightly, we don't. Because Ms. Shirley, I know you are a senior on the move. Yes, <laughs> yes that's our role, the seniors on the move. And so today is really fitting at all that's happening in the world. And 
we are still here and you still have the breath in your body that we can all come together and honor you for being their advocate for seniors, for when something is wrong in Forest Building, how you reach out and you call us and make sure that it's done. You know, when seniors need to get someplace, you put them in your car and say, come on girls, we go in here, we go in there. You have been such an advocate and an example for so many of us that are coming behind you. I don't want you to think that your work was in vain, but I am glad that I'm a part of the legacy because you paved the way because of what you've been through. And so today we're here to honor you and say you are well worthy of the praise. So on behalf of the city council, I want you to know we truly appreciate you, Ms. Shirley. There is none like you. You are a fly girl. <laughs> you have it going on. And what's good about you, you have a beautiful heart. You have a beautiful heart. And so we're here to celebrate you. I wish we could have did it different. But you know, I always tell people there's another day when we come out of this, you can just put it on the calendar and say, this is a day in which we're going to really party hardy, because I know y'all like to party. Y'all like me. <laughs> Y'all like the party, and so we will definitely be there to celebrate you in a bigger way because you truly deserve it. And seniors on the move, I want to say thank you for being her support, for being her rock, because I know if we cannot do this together, nothing gets done. So God bless you. Keep doing what you do, and you look absolutely fly on a rainy day. God bless. I, I have a resolution uh, as well. It's on behalf of the 300,000 people that call Jersey City home. You're no stranger to this, and we're no stranger to you because of the work that you do. We're thankful, um, and you know, the, the city and I think the country and world would be a better place if there were more people like you that constantly give and constantly do for others and constantly think about how they can make the community that they're in a better place. So Jersey City is better because of you, and it is a privilege to have the opportunity to honor you today as the senior of the year. Thank you. Congratulations, Shirley. Yeah, so I, I just want to say, you know, we love you, Shirley. And, you know, a couple of years ago when I decided to run for county commissioner now, um, one senior came up to me and said, you know, everybody always using Shirley. Nobody never recognized her for her efforts and whatever. And I said, you know what? Shirley gonna be one of my aides. So I made Shirley one of my aides. But it, the unique thing is, Shirley's now my boss. So, <laughs> so we, we, we love you, Shirley. And, um, you know, I, like my heart go out to you. You know, we love each other. And you're so worthy for this, this honor. And we appreciate you. And we're here for you. And we can't wait to get back to bingo with my crew. All right, see you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I just want to say to Shirley, Shirley is like a mother to me. She puts me in my place and she's always there for me. Anything that I need, I can call on Ms. Shirley and she's there. My organization um, acknowledged her and honored her two years ago with the Mother in the Community Award and she is a mother in the community. She's not only a mother to youth such as myself, but she's a mother to some of you seniors and you know that. When Shirley says do this, you better do it without hesitation. So congratulations, Ms. Shirley. I love you, and I know that you're going to continue to leave a legacy that many, many, many generations will follow. So thank you, and congratulations. First of all, it's going to be to God be all the glory. And I want to thank all of you guys, family, friends, neighbors, everyone, for coming out today and supporting me. I do say that we all were put here for a purpose. And one of our purposes is to love, and the other is to serve. And I'm a server. So anything that I can do to assist, to help anyone, I'm here. And I don't look for nothing for it, because my God takes care of me. Okay? All right? And amen. That's it. <laughs>